guys 2014 Nissan Titan here Brain looks pretty good in this truck seats actually in good condition customers complaining about the armrest let's fix it up for them first thing we always do good cleaning the lacquer thinner rubbing alcohol degreaser to make sure our product sticks real well on there we should all know that by now right so our next project in this repair some vinyl repair compound we're going to cover up the whole thing again light coat we don't need to fill every little thing in at once i'm going to light our torch i'm going to melt all that together you see how it went clear We'll put a graining pad on there. We'll hold that down until it cools off just a little bit. See, it's already flattening out. We'll put another coat over it, nice and smooth. Watch your edges. You don't want any sharp edges with your product. Just have to blend them out if you do. Again, you're doing the repair, so if you make a little mistake, that's okay. We'll go back and fix it. See, that's almost filled in already. And we'll go a little bit farther each time just to blend it out, smooth it out. So how quickly it goes from white to clear and smokes off. We'll get it nice and malleable. So we can put a graining pad in there. Get a little bit of texture on it. I'm gonna do one more coat. Focus more on this side here. So I got the worst of it. This is the driver's seat after all. I'm just putting moderate pressure on here. Nothing too crazy. Just want to set that down in. That grain pad down in there. All right, let's get some color on it and see what it looks like. I just want to get some color on here so we can see what our product looks like on there. You can see it is a little, still see the cracks a little bit. And we'll put another coat or two of product on there to try to smooth that out. Um, your graining texture spray from Sam's will also help blend that out. We'll let that flash off a little bit. We'll come back. Okay, this dried up enough. I'm gonna smooth it out just a little bit more. And we will put one or two more coats on there. Try to blend that out just a little bit better. Sometimes going in different directions when you lay down your product it helps smooth out those gaps in between the, the wrinkles. I think that's going to about do it. So now we'll take a little texture spray. This is our Sims Black Texture. And two or three light coats help uh, blend that out a little bit. You see how quickly that's drying off? It's already dry to the touch. No editing there. And we're staying far away so we get that mist of that texture coming out. already looking pretty good now we're going to use some, just some Sims black color coat and finish it up I always want to protect protective coating over top of the texture coating never just leave that bare all right guys just wanted to show you the last final product all finished up that came out pretty nice customers happy with it 
we're happy with it. On to the next one. Thanks for watching the Magic Man again.